Hey peeps out in YouTube land, it's the Senva here and Rockin' Ichigo. We are here for BGD Tea Time Talk and we are drinking milky tea. <laughs> So for tonight's BJD Tea Time Talk, I'm going to be doing a couple questions here with my friend Rockin Ichigo, and one of them was asked by a person on my YouTube channel called OME153, or OM153, or OME153. So I've actually already did a video on BJD Care with Rockin here, it's actually a two-part video which I will link right here. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to basically sum that up to five things. Number one, MSC. Mr. Super Clear. Mr. Super Clear. In brief, MSC or Mr. Super Clear is what is used on your doll as a sealant slash protectant because it will help from staining or any gross oils that may come from your hands onto your doll. So MSC is one of the uh, top things that I would say that you would need for BGD care. Two, magic clean eraser. So magic clean erasers are very good tools to use with your BGDs because if something gets on in your doll, you can use the magic clean eraser and scrub it right off and it comes off. Most of the times it will. Um, and they're very affordable and I would highly recommend that you get those if you are looking for basic BGD care. Number three. Face protectors. It's pretty self-explanatory. It protects the face. Yes. Good for traveling, and good for if you're just gonna put your doll away in the box. Yeah, so it doesn't mess up their face up or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Katra! Toothbrush. Toothbrushes are awesome. And they look nasty after you use them on dolls. Oh, but yeah. they're good <laughs> because they will help you keep your doll's hair nice and straight and without nasty snarls and such. It works on synthetic hair and it also works great for fur wigs. So yes, a very, very inexpensive tool that is good for your BGDs. Numero cinco! That would be a ribbon or a string. This is a string. This is a string. We don't have one right now to show you. So this is a ribbon slash ring. <laughs> so, what the ribbon or string is for is so that you can restring your doll with ease. Mm -hmm. So it's really cheap because you could probably find a piece of string around your home. Or even if your camera has a strap, use yep. that. Yep. Very good. And that is the top five things for BGD Care. If you have any other questions, seriously, just go to the video. I have like a whole bunch of other things that you could use and that may help you in your BJD care needs. So honorable mentions that were not mentioned in the top five would be... Don't leave it in the scent. Don't use makeup on your dolls. Watch out for cats. <laughs> or dogs. Or birdies. <laughs> Keep it in a high place. <laughs> uh, don't leave them out in direct sunlight. <laughs> don't touch a face up. Don't touch a face up. Don't touch a face up. Don't touch the face up. Not touching the face up. Don't touch it, please. Keep away from children. So leading on to the second half of today's BJD Tea Time talk would be sewing. So a couple of you have asked about my Pikachu sweater that I made for Kai in a BJD meet that we had that was Pokemon themed. I am going to go ahead and now answer all questions that you have had about this poorly, poorly constructed piece of clothing. In a nutshell, I honestly did not use any pattern for this. Um, I basically just had a square, like a rectangle, actually it's not square, it's rectangle, rectangle piece of material, and I fit the rectangle to fit my doll, so here's your rectangle. This is the base that I started with, and I went ahead and I sewed the seams together, like right here in the middle, so that's my poor seaming and sewing and crud like that. And then in the upper half of the sweater up here, I split the shirt down the middle and I just had it to where I could have open flaps like this to hide my poor sewing skills. And let me show you how bad this is and not how, <laughs> like, you know, awesome I am because I'm not. I'm terribly bad. I'm so sorry for deceiving people that thought the sweater was awesome. This is my last minute ugly hand stitch sews. Look at that. That's nasty. It is. Look at that. It's all crooked. <laughs> uh, to kind of further mask some things, uh, I purposely sewed these ears to flap down 
because it's hiding this right here. <laughs> and I know this video seems like now it's just me bashing on my sweater, but really honestly, it, I just wanted to show you guys that seriously, it it wasn't anything like too like amazing. It was just something really quick and fun that I put together. I really don't have any like tutorials on how to sew this because it's just really quickly put together. I mean, this back here was a piece of material that I cut out and I glued. It's glued. Yes, and it's glued. Fraying. And it's fraying. <laughs> it's glued to the back of the sweater. The cheeks were a piece of like pleather thing that I had from another costume and I glued that too. Um, the bottom of the sweater, which has the tail, I tried to be cool, and I did an invert, like, stitching job thing, so you don't see, like, too much of the other seam like you would some of this other really bad stuff, <laughs> but I mean, it, it was really quick. I had, I had just wanted to do it. I did it maybe, like, in one day, and he never wants to see this ever again. So, um, yeah, I hope this kind of answered any Pikachu sweater questions that any of you guys had. It is made out of corduroy. Um, that, that's just about it, you guys. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry if I suck the magic away from it, but that's just really <laughs> what it is. So for my special guest, I would like to ask her two questions. First question, what do you sew? What do I sew? Uh, well, I've sewn pants for one of my dolls. It was alright. But I used a tutorial that I found on Den of Angels for the non-pattern pants type thing. I like it. Very good. Question number two <laughs> for you, Rockin. Would you rather buy or sew? I would rather buy. It's... I'm not that great of a sewer anyway. Like, I did make a dress for Latskaya once and it... I thought it came out pretty ugly. I didn't like it. <laughs> but and it then, wasn't as bad as a Pikachu sweater, I bet you money. <laughs> I can't argue with that one. <laughs> so, we are all out of tea now. Special thanks to Rockin' Hair for joining me for this special tea time in this awesome time that we had. We hope that you guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you guys later. Hi, peeps out <laughs> in YouTube land. It is Senva here with Rockin' Ikichogo. Wow, yes. I totally jacked up my name. <laughs> so I actually did do a video with Rachin' Rachinaka. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, ripping her string. <laughs> I didn't get it off. <laughs> oh, fail. Oh, it'll come off my dress. <laughs>